So I'm doing a training mission. Since I have never ever ever tried any dangerous, so I have no idea how this works. But today we're playing on Oculus Go, as you can see. Okay, your power's back up and running. Some control systems are still offline, but you should have basic drive functionality now. You might want to check that your throttle's still working. Go ahead and set your throttle, Commander. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to learn <laughs> how to drive a spaceship. I guess in the uh, yeah in space on the Oculus Go, uh, I'm using AL VR to make this pilot. work. It's not like I have anything more important to do. Oh oh, the commander is very uh, impatient. Okay, let me just try this first. So, first training mission. Oh, well, that's a result. Whoa. We might just get this rust bucket space worthy. Drone repair sequence is still running on your ship. You're lucky oh I had these things. They're not what you'd class as standard equipment. Your attitude control should now be active. See if you can pitch your ship up and down. Give it a go. Pitch my ship. Left joystick, I guess. Whoa! That looks to be a working order. Let's see if we can get you rolling again. Okay, you should be able to give it a try now. Spin your ship on its central axis using your roll controls. A roll control? Or like this? Good job, Commander. One final axis of control and you should be good to go. Your oh, cool. is back online now. Why don't you try pivoting your ship from side to side? Pivoting my ship from side to side. Okay. Like this. That's it, Commander. It would appear you have a semi-operational sidewinder on your hands. I wouldn't <laughs> take any chances though, so you best get that ship into dock for repairs. There's an outpost nearby. See if you can make it there. Okay, so I have to go over there. Oh no. I guess oh, now might be a good time to introduce do? myself. My name's Blaine. I'm something of a freelancer at this part. You know, this could be a lucky break for both of us. I've been looking for a business partner. Someone to help me with potentially lucrative ventures. And you need someone to take you under their wing. Show you the ropes, so to speak. I have to say, it's not often I help out strangers like this. So I think you owe me one. The least you can do is buy me a lavy and brandy. I'll see you at the outpost, Commander. The hell am I doing? <laughs> Okay, so it is cool to do this on Oculus Go. Whoa, oh, this is whoa, this is a little bit. It makes me this. I have to get used to this. Whoa. Okay, let's go to the dark. I really need to get used to this. So, whoa, well, well flown, Commander. Keep working on these basics. You need them to stay alive out there. Okay, so let's move on to the second training: docking and travel training. Okay, let's get. It started. Hey, Commander. Now it's time for you to help me out. I need you to do a cargo run for me. Ordinarily, I'd take care of this myself, but I'm not on the best of terms with the security forces over in Azaban City, so you're gonna have to take my place. When you're ready, return to the surface to take your ship out of the hangar. I'll keep in contact with you as you make your way there. Select return to the servers to exit hangar. Oh, like this. Okay. Whoa! So, using the Oculus Go, it is still 3 degrees of freedom. So this means I can rotate my head all around. Everything works just like a PR game should work. But I cannot okay, you're ready lean to forward. Take her out, Commander. And, well, if I lean forward, it's just the same as any Oculus Go game. Well, getting latency here. So I'm I'm using. Oh well, wait. Launch your ship, commander. Launch your ship, commander. Okay. I'll launch it. So. Ship is released. You can use your vertical thrusters to clear the landing pad. By the way, try not to end up as wall decoration on your way out. It is cool, but uh, if you use AOVR, you need uh, Nvidia. Video cards with support for NVENC, or else it doesn't work at the moment. I think the developer is making support for it though. But um, yeah, it, it's not here yet. Oh, I have to exit myself. Okay, 
here, so I did not know that. Whoa! Oh, oh, whoa! Whoa! Okay, this is not good. Oh my god, this is happening. What am I- what the hell am I doing? Okay. Um... Turn? Oh my god, this is so hard. What the hell am I doing? This is hard! Wait, wait. Ugh. Wait, I need to go. Okay. Alright, so the target is like all the way over there. Let me slowly turn around. Good. Now, throttle up. A little bit, not too much. And let's go for it. I do get some uh, latency problems, a little bit of frame drops as well, but, but that's because you really need a really good Wi-Fi connection to the headset and also um, the developer recommends using an Ethernet cable connected to the PC that is streaming the game. Which is really understandable as you're really watching a stream from the headset. Wait, what is going on? Where am I supposed to go? Oh, through this? Okay. Oh crap. Wait. Okay, you're clear of the access corridor. Your ship's still mass locked by the station. Once you get beyond five kilometers, you'll be able to make the jump to Super Cruise. Okay, landing gear must be retracted to jump. What? How does that work? B and what's that button? Like this? Landing gear retracted. Yes, that is it. Do I need to exit now? Okay, so I'll need to trouble puddle up properly. Okay, so yeah. Using a gamepad, so uh, ALVR is only compatible with uh, gamepad compatible games because you cannot connect a motion controller yet. Maybe in future, I hope, maybe. But uh, right now only gamepad games and the ones that you have to connect on uh, your PC too. Right, he's definitely your mark. Time to deploy your hard points, Commander. The what? Press X. What is X? This one? Or this one? Weapon hot. <gasps> Concentrate your primary fire on the target, Commander. That's awesome. <laughs> too, too, too. <laughs> your little friend here has a combat rank of harmless. <laughs> Seems to have left the hangar without any shields. So you should be able to make light work of him. Oh my gosh, what is he doing? Oh, is he dead? <laughs> Oh my gosh, very cool, very cool. Ah, ah. It's, uh, it's automatically targeting for me, that's very nice. I like this tech, I like it a lot. And now, let's move on to my thoughts. So, ALVR is pretty awesome. Of course, I'm going to link everything you need in our description. If you don't know ALVR yet or what it does, it's an open source remote VR display for Oculus Go. What ALVR basically does is stream PC VR game screens into your headset. This means you can play Steam VR games with the Go. Let's summarize what I've noticed during this ALVR gameplay with Elite Dangerous. First of all, as you could see in the video, it works well. Be aware of a few things though. To also record the game sound, I was recording the Steam VR mirror, so you didn't see any streaming latency or frame drops. I did get them though, but I will show you what it looks like in just a bit because I also recorded that. To have the smoothest experience, you need very good Wi-Fi connection for the Oculus Go headset and preferably AC and 5 gigahertz. The developer recommends connecting your PC where you are running the games on to an Ethernet cable. You need to connect both headset and PC on the same router so you can't be outside while you're streaming the game at home. Of course, you'll need a high-end gaming PC to run the VR games on. Right now, ALVR only supports NVIDIA video cards that support NVENC. But I read on GitHub that the developer has started a crowdfunding about support for AMD graphic cards too. Right now, ALVR only works on Windows 10 and I'm not sure if more OS support is coming up. When you play on the go, you still have 3 degrees of freedom. This means you can rotate your head in any direction, but you cannot lean forward like you can on the 5 or Rift. Also, because of the streaming limitations, you don't get 90 FPS, but instead you get to 60 to 72 FPS. This might not be sufficient for some games, however, in games like 
like a Elite Dangerous, this doesn't matter much to me. Right now you also cannot connect any 6 staff motion controllers like the Oculus Touch. The Oculus Go wand is shown and you can move it around with 3 degrees of freedom. You can however use gamepads to play, like I did in, in my video. So yes, most 6 staff PC VR games are not playable at the moment, but maybe most gamepad games are. As for latency or frame drops, yes, I did get them, especially when I was playing in my VR room where my Wi-Fi connection just sucks balls. This is what it looks like when you use ALVR on a bad Wi-Fi connection. I did have my streaming PC connected to an Ethernet cable though, so sometimes it wasn't too bad. Also in some games like Elite Dangerous, it doesn't matter much getting latency or some frame drops in my opinion. I can't get that crate back online. Lucky I showed up when I did. You wouldn't last long out here in your current predicament. Uh, for the good Wi-Fi connection of the headset and also still having connection with my uh, uh, my controller to the PC that's over there and my router is over there by the way this is the perfect spot for me to still have connection with my, with my gamepad and also a good connection with um, the router when I sat close to my router, I could get really good streaming quality though. Here, I am sitting in the hallway. <laughs> it might look a little bit ridiculous, but it was the only part of my house where I could get good Wi-Fi connection for the Oculus Go and still have a connection with my Xbox gamepad and PC so I could play the game. So if you have really good Wi-Fi connection where you have your PC as well, then you are in luck and you can probably play with ALVR with ease. Also, fun fact, I'm sitting right next to my cat's litter box and it smells. But okay, I still get the occasional streaming lag or frame drops, but these were not noticeable anymore. Of course, the quality playing with the Rift or 5 is just a lot better because it has a cable. So if you have that, I would not trade it in for ALVR. But if you want to try some dealer's VR and you have a good Wi-Fi connection, then I think you will definitely not regret trying it out. We are very curious to see what kind of possibilities apps like ALVR is going to bring. I mean, exciting times, right? So there is a small list of tested games on ALVR that you can check out if you are interested. There is also a pretty straightforward guide on GitHub from the developers explaining how to install and get your own ALVR server running to start playing SteamVR games on your Oculus Go find the link down below. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful in any way at all. One special thanks to our patrons and supporters for always being there for us. And if you have any questions at all, just leave a comment down below. We will answer you as soon as possible or better yet, come to our cozy chat and chat with us directly over there. And if you want to explore more VR with us, then be sure to subscribe as well if you haven't yet. Well, we are Cass and Cherry VR and I am Cass and we say VR on.